Hey y'all, welcome to this week's What's for Dinner. We're starting out with baked Alice Springs chicken. I'm going to spray a 9 by 13 inch pan to begin. And I read that this is sold at Outback Steakhouse, but I've actually never had it though. So I took my chicken breast and I cut them in half so that they weren't as thick. And I start laying them into the baking dish and I actually ended up having to get a second baking dish because it was just going to be way too crowded. Okay, now I'm taking some garlic powder, salt, and pepper, and I'm going to mix it together and sprinkle that over the top of the chicken. Okay, I'm taking some honey mustard. I didn't measure this out. I just squirted it over the top of the chicken, and then I took a little brush and just brushed it on top. Next I took about a half of an onion and I just kind of thinly sliced it and then I took a couple tablespoons of olive oil and some um, salt, pepper, and garlic powder sorry how to think about it and mix that up and then I'm just gonna put it over the chicken and I didn't put it over every bit of it I left some pieces without it just in case the kids didn't want it and then there was a part of the um of the recipe that I didn't quite get okay it said to put cheese on the chicken and then you bake it for about 30 to 35 minutes and then when you take it out, you put the bacon on top and more cheese. So I don't know if that was a misprint, if the cheese was supposed to have waited until the part with the bacon, not sure. <laughs> While the chicken has been cooking for about 35 minutes, and now, I mean, it's very juicy. <laughs> um, I'm taking it out. I'm gonna sprinkle it with some chopped up bacon and so what I have is I have a little bit of bacon from the other day and then I also have some real bacon pieces but it said on there to sprinkle it with cheese after you put the onion mixture but now I read this part is talking about sprinkling it with cheese after you put this so I think I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit more cheese over it I don't know why it said it twice unless it was a mistake the first time maybe it wasn't supposed to have the cheese on it but I mean that's what it said so I'm just going along with what it said. And I've got some canned corn I'm making. I'm heating up some beans I made the other day. And I'm also um, gonna make some just instant mashed potatoes to go on the side. And it says to put it back in there and bake it for another five to 10 minutes. So that's what I'm gonna do. How you doing? How do you like the chicken and stuff? Good, good. Oh, he didn't clean his plate. He's getting more potatoes because he loves mashed potatoes. My niece is here, Peyton. They've been swimming. How do you like it, Peyton? I never had this chicken, so it's new, but it's very delicious. I love all meat. And so you're not a vegetarian? Yeah. Okay. No. And I've already had seconds, or this is my seconds of corn mashed potatoes because I love corn mashed potatoes. Oh, good. It's, it's delicious. Okay, Bryce. Mm hmm. You're almost done, so I'm guessing it's a good. Mm hmm. Oh, Courtney, you've almost finished. At first, she thought the chicken was a little dry, but 
inside of here, then, there's like juice, no, as you can door. see, I guess. So I put some of that over it. Did that help putting that over it? Yeah, Make I like it the bacon and the cheese really good on the meat. Mm, Y'all, this is good. She's wearing her swimsuit. I'm still eating on mine. I'm eating some beans. I made beans the other night, but I overcooked them, so like they're mm -hmm. very soft, but I'll still eat them because I love pinto beans and cornbread. Yes, y'all. So good. <laughs> <laughs> All we had Taco Tuesday. Um, everybody probably knows how to make basic just ground beef tacos. So of course I have a couple of pounds of ground beef. I'm seasoning it with salt, pepper, garlic powder. Now that I have the meat done, I'm adding in some Taco Bell taco seasoning and some of the regular taco seasoning I always use. Since I had two pounds of meat, that one package wasn't enough. So I'm just gonna cook this up and add a little bit of water and heat it up and we're gonna have some tacos. I know I have showed this Kitchen Mama Yes You Can electric um, can opener before, but I thought I'd show it again. This thing is awesome. You just put it on there, it's hands-free, and then when you take it off, it does not leave a sharp edge. So this is so nice. I have, I'll leave a discount code down in the description box if you wanna go check it out and get yourself one. I don't make anything off of this. I just want to share it with y'all because I love this product. Hey, Adrian. How is how is your taco? I'm full. You're full? Yeah. Did you finish it? I ate this much. My husband must have liked it because he ate it all. Y'all haven't seen him in a while. He's been working. Is it good? They've never seen him, Mom. Well, you know what I mean. They haven't seen his hand. And then Peyton, my niece, is here again. Hi. Oh, he she got head, so by much the way. sour cream. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's messy, but it's delicious, so it's worth it. What do you think? Good? Yep. Courtney's still eating? Bryce, it's not good. Tacos it's is my life. Tacos no, are her life? So I'm about to have me a second. Uh, it's not good. Tacos. It's delicious. Taco Tuesday. Tacos are my favorite. That's why it's just good. It's <laughs> delicious. Hey, I thought I'd share something different, a dessert. Bryce has been wanting this. Hey y'all, I'm gonna make a banana pudding. I have not made one in a long time. So I found this recipe and we're gonna start out with, I have um, a block, an eight ounce block of soft and cream cheese that I am going to put into this bowl here. We're gonna mix it with an electric mixer and um, on medium speed until smooth and fluffy. Okay, says until smooth and fluffy. We're gonna add in the sweetened condensed milk. And the only thing was I misread the recipe. I was supposed to get, I was supposed to have gotten vanilla pudding mix and I got banana cream pudding so I hope that doesn't affect it too much and I was supposed to get the larger box and good thing I bought two boxes um, so I bought two of just the small regular size boxes so hopefully it'll work so I'm gonna use a whole one so this is 3.4 ounces And then I'm gonna use about half of the other one. And I think that'll equal out to five ounces. So I use just a tad over half of this one. And then you also add in the milk, which is three cups of milk. It said a large bowl, but I guess I will see if this is gonna be big enough. I may have to switch to a bigger one. The last thing is vanilla extract, which I have the Mexican vanilla. Calls for two teaspoons, so. Or maybe I should have used my stand mixer. I was too lazy to move it over here. One, this is the, oops, well, full extra. So let's say this is the best vanilla ever. 
So now, let me make sure I read it. We're gonna mix this well until combined. Now it says to add in half of the whipped topping. So that's what we're gonna do. And I just have the cool whip. I'm gonna add about half of this in. And this has also been um, softening, so. And this we're just gonna stir it in. my big bowl and it says to start out with a layer of vanilla wafers a layer of bananas and then we're supposed to pour a third of the pudding mixture since my bowl I guess we'll, we'll see how we do and I think I'm supposed to use this whole box of cookies I believe let's see 11 ounce box this is 11 ounce. Okay. So we're going to start out doing a layer of these on the bottom. And then we're going to add a layer of bananas, which I've cut up like five bananas. And so I'm just going to go in here and start adding those. Now we're going to take the mixture, the pudding mixture, and we're going to put some of that down in there. And we're going to do another layer. on the rest of this cool whip on top kind of smooth it over the top of it and just for fun I'll just put a couple of those right there And there you have it. This thing is heavy. So I've got a lid. I'm going to cover this up and we're going to refrigerate it. It says for one to two hours so that it can kind of thicken up a little and that the cookies can soften. Ugh. I'm having trouble. Okay, I think. Yep, it's all cut. I mean, it's all covered. So. Okay, y'all, tonight we are going to make barbecue sandwiches out of this um, beef chuck roast that I got on sale. It's a two-pound beef chuck roast. I'm seasoning it with salt and pepper, really good on both sides. And we're going to drizzle some olive oil over it. And then I'm also going to try out this Fiesta brand brisket rub that my husband bought. I thought, why not? Let's try it. So you just put that on there and kind of rub it in. And this recipe is so simple. You put it into the crock pot, and I took about half of an onion, and I, no, actually it was a whole onion, a whole small onion I put into chunks. And then you're gonna put four cloves of garlic. I just used the minced garlic and put that in there. And you put the lid on, turn it on low, and let it cook for about eight hours. I mean, it was so, so simple, y'all. Okay, y'all, it's been cooking for a little over eight, almost eight and a half hours. 
and it is so tender so I just started taking all the meat out and I'm gonna go through here and try to get as much of the fat off the meat this meat was pretty fatty so I am just gonna go through here and I'm gonna try to remove as much fat as I can I don't really like fatty meat especially with sandwiches so that's what I'm gonna do go through here get the fat off and shred it up Once it's all shredded, I just took some of the Sweet Baby Ray barbecue sauce. The original recipe called for one and a half cups of barbecue sauce, but I was worried about adding too much. So I just started out with a half a cup of it. And I also take a little bit of the juice that was in the crock pot and added that in there. Um, I think in total I added probably three fourths of a cup of barbecue sauce and just mix that up really well. And then it's ready to serve. To go alongside this, I found this broccoli crunch chopped salad um, at Walmart and it comes with the dressing and everything. So it had little bacon bits you put in there, um, sunflower seeds, and then they called this a sweet um, coleslaw dressing. So I added that in there too and stirred it up. And I also had some uh, suddenly salad that I made to go alongside it. And that is what we got. Y'all, we are actually eating this for lunch. I made this last night. Me and my husband had to go find a pool hose for the vacuum, and we had to go about 30 miles away to get it, and we ended up grabbing something to eat, and the food wasn't ready last night, so the kids just ate sandwiches and quick stuff. So we're eating this for lunch. So, Courtney, what do you think of the sandwich? Is it good? Mine's good. Yeah, it's really good. What about you? Mm-hmm. Great. And these boys have been working. I may have to show y'all what they've been doing in a minute. Okay, y'all, this is what they've been doing. Our pond had all of this stuff growing everywhere. So, the boys have already cleared off way, we have more out there. They've cleared off a bunch out there, but now they've been over here clearing this. They've been using like a rake and um, pulling it and piling it all up here. So that's what these boys have been doing. Really good. And I was cleaning the pool this morning. Mm -hmm. Is it good? And nope. she uh, ripped off the patch with the brush. And <laughs> they, they were freaking out. It was funny. There was a hole when we were putting it up, but they patched it. And then I was cleaning and brushing and all this. And my daughter came up. She's like, oh my gosh, there's a hole. And they started screaming and crying. Yeah, they thought it was going to, they thought the pool was going to yeah, drain. Oh my gosh, it's falling. I don't know. <laughs> we fixed it though. I, Mama fixed it because the, the boys could. The big hole. The boys could. I was imagining like the hole like this or something. It was just a little stream, kind of little. It was right. A little steel. Oh, but y'all, this right here, I think it tastes good, but nobody else wants to try it, so that's fine though. I don't know about it. It looks okay, but sunflower seeds is that sunflower seeds? Yeah, sunflower seeds is good in like salad and stuff. Uh huh. Yeah, this is good y'all. I showed this roast. I got it on sale It was in my grocery haul this week and it was like five dollars and something But it was only like two pound roast But by the time I took all the fat off of it and stuff it really wasn't a lot So kind of good that we're eating it for lunch the next day because my husband isn't home yet So he won't be eating lunch. My niece isn't here Um, um what? if y'all watch other people y'all should notice that a lot of people ain't having grocery hauls because of the coronavirus Oh, okay. Yeah, that may be. Alrighty. Thank y'all so much for watching. Bye. 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 Uh, yeah.